Hey guys and welcome back for another short flow. Today's sequence is nine moves that are going to help you stay injury free. You don't need much at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me in a kneeling position in the center of your mats. The first stretch we're going to do today is a toe stretch. So this is going to help the underneath of your feet. You're going to come into this kneeling position Come forwards onto your hands, tuck your toes underneath you, and then sit back on your heels. We're just going to sit here for five deep breaths, stretching into the toes. If you find this is uncomfortable, maybe just lift off slightly and then sit back. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly just untuck your toes and we'll go into the next movement. The next stretch is a standing forward fold. So come up onto your mats, onto your feet. And distance apart. We're going to take one foot over the other. So cross and straight. And we're just simply going to think about extending through the spine, trying to keep that nice long, length in the spine and then exhaling as we hinge at the hips and come all the way forwards. Hands can go to the floor or you can hold opposite elbows or just reach down as far as you want. Think about extending with that chest over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor and just hold here for five deep breaths. This is going to help you loosen off your IT band so it's a really good one for runners or anyone doing a lot of movements with their legs, so cyclists, really any athlete. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. Fold deeper if you can, and then inhale to come all the way up, and we'll switch sides. So take the foot that was in front, behind, find that same cross-legged position again, find that set up with the long length in the spine, and then exhale as you hinge at the hips, keeping that length coming all the way back down, finding that stretch. So you should feel this not only in the backs of your legs, but sort of towards the sides as well. And again, just take five deep breaths on this side. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended Tadasana, uncross the legs, step the feet apart, exhale, release, and come back to your Tadasana position. From here, we're going to move down into a low lunge position. So come to the floor with your hands, step the left foot all the way back to the back of the mat. Just be careful of the knee tracking forwards at the ankle. So if you need to, shuffle that front foot forwards. Inhale to find length in the spine, lifting the chest through the arms. Exhale, sink deeper into that groin area. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink deeper. And then on the next inhale, come up. Maybe even plant your hand on top of that um, front leg. We're going to then inhale to lift and reach with the left arm up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as we take a small side stretch. And just stay here for three deep breaths. If you need to put the hand on the floor, you can do. Or keep that hand on the, rest, on the um, leg in front. Take two more deep breaths all the way in. Exhale, see if you can reach further each time. Last one, exhale, release the hands to the floor and we'll switch to the other side. So simply step back to down facing dog, scissor the legs over. So left foot comes forwards, right foot goes back. Drop the right knee to the floor. Inhale to lift and reach with the chest. Exhale, sink into that low lunge. Again, making sure your knee is not tracking forwards of your ankle. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, sink deeper into that groin area. And then inhale as you come up, hand on the um, leg in front or on the ground, wherever you're comfortable. Inhale to lift and reach with the right hand this time. Exhale, reach over toward the left and take another three deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hand to the floor and step back to down facing dog. 
Whilst in down facing dog, just take a moment to pedal out the legs, open up the hips, open up the calves, and then we're going to transition into plank. So we're going to roll forwards, taking the shoulders over the wrists, pressing the ground away, and really bracing that core, tucking the tailbone down, and bringing our shoulders, hips, and knees all in one line. If this is too much, feel free to drop the knees to the floor, but keeping that same line between the shoulders, knees, and hips. And we're just going to hang out here for another five, four, three, two, one, and then exhale as you relax and come back to extended child's pose. Take two deep breaths. And then we're going to transition into a forearm side plank. So you're gonna come up onto your hands and knees, take the left forearm onto the floor and um, stack the shoulder above the elbow. We're gonna twizzle around onto the side. So come onto the sides of your body if you want and we're just simply going to lift the hip. From here to stack behind or in front and even drop that knee if you need to. Just think about lifting through the side body to keep that hip off the floor. You can stack the arm on top or lift it up in towards the sky and hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release and we'll shuffle round to the other side. So same positioning with the other hand. So right arm, forearm on the floor, stack the right shoulder over the right elbow, come onto your side, push that hip away from the ground. So really try and find that space underneath your armpit there and then inhale as you lift that top hand toward the ceiling or leave it on your side wherever you're comfortable and again with the feet stacked on top in front or behind it really doesn't matter or even use your knee and hold for three two one exhale relax and come back to your extended child's pose we're gonna come into some supine poses now for the last three. So come swivel around onto your bums, come down onto your backs, and just bring your knees up at a 90 degree angle, laying flat on your backs. And we're just going to take the right ankle across the left knee, creating that figure of four shape with the legs. And then we're gonna thread the hands through the legs, hook the fingers around the front of the knee on the left, and then come back down onto the mat as we use that right elbow to open up that right hip and just hold for five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. and then release and we'll switch sides. So left ankle goes across right knee, reach up and through, making sure you clasp the hands around the front of the knee, not behind. You've got lots of tendons behind here. I don't want you grabbing anything and breaking anything. Come back down onto your mats with your head and your shoulders. Use that left elbow this time against the left thigh and pull that knee in toward your chest as you exhale. And again, just hold for five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And release. We're going to crisscross the legs over now, over at the knees, coming into a supine cow face, just legs pose. So we're um, crossing the right leg over the left, bending at the knees, and then just grabbing a hold of the feet if you can, and just pulling them out towards the sides and back towards you. So you should feel this in your hips. It's almost like you're sat on the floor and you're pulling your feet into those positions. And just hold for three, two, one. Exhale, release and switch sides. So left leg goes over right, cross at the knees, grab a hold of the feet again, so the outsides of the feet with the hands, and then you're just pulling the feet back towards you as if they're gonna be on the floor either side of your hips and hold for three, two, one, exhale, release. Last one. Exhale. 
exhale release. Finally, we're going to do hand to big toe pose in a recline position. So come all the way down with your feet and your arms so you're in a um, corpse pose or savasana pose. And we're just simply going to lift the right leg up. Option to use a strap or you can use your two big fingers on your big toe. Straighten the leg, flex the toes back towards you and just hang out here feeling that calf and hamstring stretch for five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release and switch legs. So we're going to inhale as we lift our leg, left leg and grab a hold using the fingers or your hand if you want to or a strap, whatever you need. You can even just hold the calf or the thigh wherever you need to be and just extend the leg, flex the toes back towards you and just again hold for five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands, release the leg and just come down into your corpse pose to finish for a couple of breaths or even take a mini savasana. <laughs> 